So I found this journey thread on Black Hat World and I will talk about something that I didn't know much about that was interesting to me and that is about the EXIF data in your photos and how that is, is important for SEO. So if you want to learn that I will explain in detail what it is all about. So this guy is planning to start a travel blog and make $5,000 per month in order to quit their job. The author discusses their past experience creating niche websites and selling them, as well as their strategy for the future, which includes focusing on diversifying their traffic through social media platforms like Instagram Reels, TikTok and Facebook. The author also mentions their plans to travel and take photos for the blog and asks for advice on retaining EXIF data for their photos. There are also several comments from other forum users wishing the author good luck and offering advice. So I get the feeling that this guy is already very experienced with social media traffic and this is a very common thing that I think a lot of people don't realize and that is when they talk about creating a blog and then selling the blog. They may have already a large arsenal of social media accounts that have followings and a lot of traffic so they can just use it to pump out new websites and I mean this is the first thing you must do is to create a way to generate traffic and I don't think that is by spamming social media accounts I think that is through building a following, building likes and subscribers and building no like and trust. And no like and trust is super important because with no like and trust, not only will you have an audience that is engaging and checking out the resources that you recommend, but social media is monitoring the engagement and your account will rank based on that so this is what social media and google any kind of search engines are looking for who is the most popular guy maybe we should rank the website or the channel based on that so maybe you think well this guy already have ways to generate traffic and i don't have that so i can't follow or model what uh, he or she is doing And this is what I did before 2019. I just gave up on these journeys because I knew I didn't have the traffic to back up the method. So I went to another method. I was basically hopping around until I found something simple and then I failed over and over again. So all that time, all the years I have been wasting not building a following. So... This is what I started in 2019. I started this YouTube channel to build an audience that know and trust what I do. Well, at least I hope so. But while I build a following, while I build my subscriber base, I wanted to learn real digital marketing. I wanted to learn from people that have success that I can trust have success and that is not on Black Hat World because you can't trust anything on Black Hat World because many of these threads are just someone copying from another journey thread and writes a similar story to spark curiosity to spark engagement and then they log in with another account and put advertisement in the signature link that is going to solve some of the resource need in order to copy the strategy from the author of the thread. So I'm not saying that this guy is doing it, but this is extremely easy to do nowadays because you have ChatGPT that can do this for you. So I don't trust anything on Blackheart World. But anyway, this guy is talking about retaining EXIF data 
uh, that it would really boost your posts and authority. So it's about SEO. And Canel Light, no, sorry, Canel has uh, Aria is going and Canel has some issues with keeping the EXIF data on WordPress. So what I will do is I will read an article about it, and then at the end of the video I will show you how to get access to real digital marketing education, because this is what I have been using. So I have been using a system that has tons of trainings that teaches various techniques and strategies in online marketing. Um, this system allows me to earn money. So this is what I use to make money with my YouTube channel. Maybe you are interested in using the same system because this is a high ticket system. But I will show you how to get it at the end of the video. And I will also show you how to access my free video training in digital marketing if you are interested. Anyway, let's start the video and this is a mind map video so it makes it easier to follow and learn from it. Without further ado, let's start it. Alright, have you ever heard about EXIF data? If you are not a photographer or an avid tech enthusiast, you might not be familiar with the, this term. So EXIF data stands for Exchangeable Image File Format and it's metadata that is embedded in an image file. So what does this data include? When you take a photo with your camera, the camera stores extra information in this EXIF file. It could be information such as the date and time the photo was taken, the camera make and model, shutter speed, aperture, ISO and other technical details. Now you might be wondering why EXIF data is important especially for a travel blog. Well let me explain. Keeping the EXIF data on your photos can be beneficial for several reasons but in this article we focus on how it can impact your website's search engine optimization SEO so this Black Hat World user that started this post talked about their plans to start a new travel blog and how they plan to retain EXIF data on their photos to boost their posts and authority. This user understands the value of EXIF data and wants to utilize it to the fullest. And they are not wrong. EXIF data can be incredibly useful for SEO. Search engines like Google use metadata embedded in images to better understand the content of a web page. This can help the page rank higher in search results for relevant keywords. For example, if you have a photo of the Eiffel Tower on your travel blog and it has EXIF data that includes the location and date it was taken, Google can use that information to better understand the content of your post. This can improve the relevance and accuracy of your content, which can lead to higher search engine rankings. But that is not all. Retaining EXIF data on your photos can also be important for copyright and ownership issues. By keeping the metadata intact, you can prove that you are the original creator of the image and provide evidence in case of copyright disputes. So how can we retain EXIF data on your photos for your travel blog? It's actually quite simple. If you are taking photos with your smartphone, most devices will automatically include the EXIF data. If you are using a camera, make sure to check the settings and enable the option to save the metadata. When you upload the photos to your website, make sure to keep the original files with the EXIF data intact. This can be done by uploading the photos directly from your camera or smartphone to your website or by using a plugin or tool that preserves the metadata during the upload process. 
So I believe the plugin or tool is the problem that this guy had because the data got lost when he or she upload to WordPress. And maybe the plugin author or programmer didn't take that into consideration. But anyway, in conclusion, if you are starting a travel blog or any other type of website that features images, don't overlook the importance of EXIF data. It can be a valuable asset for both readers and the author. Not only does it provide readers with more information about the photos, but it can also help your website rank higher in search results and provide evidence of ownership in case of copyright disputes. So make sure to retain EXIF data on your photos and see the benefits it can bring to your travel blog's SEO. All right, so that is what I want to share with you. So if you are interested in modeling what I do, because in the beginning we talked about the importance of building an audience, the importance of building know, like, and trust. And if you have a subscriber base that is engaging, that are interested in your videos, then of course they are interested in knowing what you do and what resources that you share, that you recommend. So to get started, you click this link. And if you want to receive my free video training in digital marketing, you enter your first name and your email and then subscribe. And you will receive one video every day for about a month. And if you are not interested in that, but you want to take a look at the system I use that allows me to make money online, then click the red button and it will take you to one of the landing pages of this system. And here you can watch Dave Sharp that will talk about high ticket commissions. And this is extremely important because if you think that you're gonna get rich with low ticket ClickBank products, then it is not very likely because you need the high ticket in order to quit your job because every sale that you make has a friction to it. People, well, most people are passive and they don't believe in anything about online marketing. So they have a preconception that it will not work. And I had that mentality. And this is the reason why it took me so many years to start this channel. I only wish that I started doing this 10 years ago because building a following will take time. And I'm not an expert in it. I'm not fluent in English. And I believe if you are more fluent in English, then you will have success much quicker. So anyway, watch the video and watch Dave Sharp. And if you want to get started, click the green button, fill in your information. And for the amount of value that you receive, $7 is nothing. Because this 15-day business builder challenge is packed with eye-openers, especially if you have been failing for a while and you can compare your experience with what they will reveal in this 15-day business builder challenge you can kind of compare and it's so extremely helpful anyway this is what i wanted to share with you and i hope you got some value from this video i hope you learned something and if you did then do click the like button This will absolutely help my YouTube channel. Also, do click the subscribe button and the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. Hey, stay awesome, take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.